Hello, welcome to my video of Tomb 2 Glitches tutorial. Today it's gonna be about Opera House, short level. Couple of things to say, but mainly this is about the glitch route. But I will enter in more, in more details about sequences, so let's go. So first you wanna do uh, jumps all the way to the slopes. Why do you wanna do that? You wanna do that because it gives you a good sequence to land here and keep running. If you, ju if you don't jump, you will get a stumble like this and you will lose a couple of time so that's why we do jumps but if you just if you slide and try to time your jump that can happen and you don't want that to happen obviously so if you jump from the very start of a level you will get the good sequence like this so you want to land on the left of a slope because um, you want to go on the left here and perform a jump so if you jump all the way through for the start you will be able to do one, two, three, four, and grab at the right of a ledge here. So it can be a bit tricky because what can happen is if you jump early, like I'm going to try to do, like this, you will need to grab late, like I just did. Because if you don't grab late and if you jump early, you won't make it like this. So if you, you need to jump a bit late. It's easier to jump on the left because the left is closer to you, so you, it will be easier. Also, don't get uh, touched by the box like I just did like this, because like, as you can see, you lose a ton of health. And it also ruins up your sequence because it's changed your distance from the edge. So the advanced one is, the advanced sequence is this one. You want to land on the right of this edge, and then you're gonna turn and do a stunning jump here, grab and pull the layer. So why is it advanced? Because the first jump is harder to get. You, you can really fail it easily in a run. Else you just jump on the left and you will get it almost every time. And you can do a wall jump here, grab and same, roll and pull the layer. So it's similarly the same, except you save a bit of time with the advanced one. So that was pretty bad, but it doesn't matter. So if you do a running jump, you will land here. So that's why we do a, uh, a wall jump. If you do a running jump with, by mistake or something, you just... You, you can recover it. Leave me alone. <coughs> so you can recover it. You can do a save drop, what we call a save drop. So a save drop is you just you just roll from this edge and you're gonna press action once. It's gonna be useful in later in this level, but I'm gonna explain now. So what's happening is if you all grab, Lara grab the edge and you can't make it, like you will have to do, uh, you will have to let go, land on the slow, lower platform and then climb again and that is pretty slow. But if you roll and press action once only and don't hold it, she will do this. And that's what we want. So that's called the safe grab. Uh, yeah, self grab. Uh, safe grab, sorry. Or a more you drop, depending on people. So this is simple. You just roll. It also works if you step back and press action once. It works both ways. So that's the way to get it on a lower platform without having to, uh, you know, grab and climb and etc. So that will be useful later. Anyway, once you pull the lever, you're gonna come back to the start. So let's use that strat, for example. If you do a standing jump from here, for example, you, you won't make it. So that's why you need to, and if you do a running jump, you will have to do the more air drops. So the, the wall jump is the best solution. So when you pull the lever, you're gonna draw your guns to turn and console the camera. And you're gonna jump here on the ladder. And you're gonna jump, hold, jump and roll to do twist and do that sequence. So that sequence looks pretty easy, but you can fail it easily. So if you're not 
sure about your sequences, especially this jump, because this jump can be failed easily. You can just play safe and just uh, stop at the edge, step back and do the jump. So you can just do this if you're not sure of yourself. And you want to grab here. You don't want to grab at the left of the, of the edge because you're going to jump there. So because we're going to jump there, obviously, you don't want to climb here because if you do, you will have to step back and do then the running jump and etc. The buck is not an issue as long as you don't do something like this. Because if the box is in the wrong spot, it will block you, obviously. So, But if you just turn left like this and do a running jump, it will work like this. The box won't touch you. And the objective to learn directly on the key is to hit the wall. So you just aim at the wall here. Um, basically, oops. Basically, you want to you wanna jump and aim roughly here. At this point, there is a lighter spot texture here, and you wanna you wanna land Lara a bit like this, where there is a transition between the lighter and the darker texture. And you don't wanna grab; you just if you grab, you won't make you won't make it directly on the key. So you just want to bump against the wall, and you all grab uh -huh. to pick up the key, and you will pick up the key. So this is the way of doing it. It's pretty easy. Up, up. Uh -huh. And then you're gonna, not going to kill this guy. Not the next guy ever, because it takes time. Just so you know, if you're already in a terrible situation with med, one of those guys drop a small med pack. But it's really long to kill both, so I don't recommend it. And then you're going to grab this ladder again. And if you can't make it, if something bad happens, what you can do is you can you, you will land here and you can just climb. Climb two time. And you will be able to make the same jump here. Okay, so this the next jump is almost the same as the previous time you went here, except that you wanna you wanna be here. So you wanna land a bit more to the right. The reason is, if you if you climb here, if a box is in the wrong spot when you go forward, the box might touch you. So this is something you have to know. And then, there is three ways of doing the next part. I'm going to show you the most advanced ones first. So most advanced ones is going to lose you a lot of health and it's pretty hard. So be careful about that. So you want to do this jump like this. So how do you do this jump? It's actually theoretically very simple, but not too simple. So you want to jump really late, like, oops, not like this. So if you jump too late, that will happen, of course. You want to jump late like this, and you want to grab a late. And as you can see, you, you will barely make it, and you will lose a lot of health, as you can see. Well, not a lot, like 80%, but you will lose some health. And also, that guy will always shoot you when you land, like 99% of the time, so you have to be careful about your health. Like, this health, when you start, if you have this health and you do this jump, I recommend using the med. Because, as you can see, I don't have a lot, oops, I won't, don't have a lot of health if I land. And that guy is gonna shoot us. Probably no, we didn't here, but we're lucky. And you will need maybe some health to do the end of a level sometimes, so you have to be really careful. And there, but there is a simple, sim, simple, more simple way, sorry, of doing that jump. And it loses less health, but it's one second or two slower. So what you do is you do you do a jump here, so you can three step before jumping because you won't land on this square if you don't. So free, you turn, and you're gonna aim to the top here. So here, he's shooting me like hell because I'm, I'm taking my time to show you, obviously. But it shouldn't be a problem if you do it fast. 
and you're gonna do a safe drop like I just showed you earlier so you just slide you press grab and you land here and as you can see I didn't get full damage so I, I saved a bit of health so this is pretty simple one two three land and I am here save grab and do it so whatever you do you will land at the same spots so the, se the, the sequence will be the same for both advanced and easy strats so you will just break the window with pistols to running jump curving and grab because if you don't grab you will hit the ceiling here and you will fall in the, s in the glass and you will die so you grab you land here and you do stunning jump simple This is what the sequence looked like. Up, and you grab. And there is a third and last way if you really don't like doing that, doing those. And it's completely safe. So you want to do two running jumps here. Oops, yeah, I forgot. You need to delay the first one. And you want to jump here on the right of this ledge. And you're going to do this jump. And you grab and you will make it every time so this is really easy i guess this is the safest way but this is really slower and i didn't read it in the sheet because i forgot that exists to be honest so you do wall jump and you have to do it quick because those guys can get to you because they don't care about slopes so be careful so I didn't add it to a sheet, but you can use a flare to cancel the, an the landing animation here. So you grab flare console and go to the ladder. So again, if you use a flare here, add it, but remove one elsewhere to be sure that you will have enough flares for the late ga game. Whatever you do, you will get to the ladder and you will climb it. So the first part of the level is over, and that's where it's going to be really similar to the glitch route. <coughs> so you're going to use the key, and you're going to do a small trick. So the next sequence is a bit weird, but it's not too difficult can jump once and if you jump second time you'll be in the perfect spots to turn and climb the ladder and get the right sequence I'm going to show you it should work here yeah? yeah it works so to do this so instead of you know having to climb the ladder and have this animation which is really slow what you can just do is you can climb here climb once or it won't work Jump here, directly jump on the slope, and directly do a standing jump to do the next sequence. So this is slightly faster, and this is pretty easy. What you just want to avoid is, um, you want to avoid being too much to the right. So for example, if you land here on this ladder, this won't work. The ladder will stumble and fall, like this. The only reason is that because this is slopey and this and the slope finish at a higher spot if you are more right so that's it so you want to basically climb here or a bit more left and it will work it should work like this and of course if you land here too much to the left that will happen and you don't want that to happen because there is two situation if you shimmy right and if you really are too much left, uh, too much right, you can still make it if you shimmy once here. But for example, I'm gonna try to get the situation. Okay, didn't get it here. Okay, so maybe here it will work. So if you shimmy here, because you were a bit right, you won't be able to make it. Okay, never mind. <laughs> Oh, 
Okay, anyway, if you if you land on the wrong spot, my point is if you land on the wrong spot and you can't get that animation, if you jump sometime, Lara will stumble instead of making the jump. So you need to be careful about that. What I do personally when I am in this situation, I just drop down, back step, slightly curve right, and it works again. So this is the sequence. So you need to jump once here. And once you climb this stair, you want to jump again. Oops, you want to delay slightly, my bad. You delay slightly and you jump again, not like I did. <laughs> of course I can do it like this and you will be in the right spot. So next sequence is really simple. So you land, you standing jump, and you do two running jumps like this, and you do one, two, three, and you jump again. So this is really easy. I'm gonna show you twice only because it's really simple. Jump here, one, two, three, and jump here and climb there. So no problem. You're gonna perform a running jump here, and you're gonna shoot the next guy because I'm gonna show you what happens if you don't. If you don't shoot him, he's gonna shoot you, as you can see. <clears throat> so here I was pretty lucky, but he can't shoot you much more than that. But if you shoot him twice, well, actually once, but I shoot twice because I don't want Lara to miss the first shots. You will see that he's going away and he's sometimes in this situation where he's running around and just shoot everything except Lara. He can't shoot Lara, basically. So this is what you want to save a bit of health. Up, you shoot him, he's going away. Sometimes he can shoot you once or twice, but it doesn't matter. And you want to jump here. You want to jump and land here quickly. Because if you don't do it quickly, the dogs are going to be a really trouble for you. So this is simple. After running jump, you delay by one step. You do second running jump, a third one, and you will land here. And you will be able to do a safe drop again. So one, two, three, shoot him, do another running jump. And basically, you land, you want to land here and then curve to do the second, um, the second, uh, the third, sorry, running jump. So this is, there is a big white line with a texture of a dome. So that's where you want to land and curve to do the next jump. So that's how I personally do it. Jump here, jump in right here, and curve. And if you are, you won't be too far. And if you are too far, you can just... Yeah, because I didn't show you, I'm gonna show you. If you, if you are to feel you are too far, you can grab and land a bit further. So, uh, I'm realizing maybe it might be better to delay than the last jump, like if you do one, two, three, so you will land here and be sure you will make it. Yeah, this is this is this is your choice. Both works, but one looks a bit more simple. Not simple, but I'm gonna show you what I, what I mean. And so I'm gonna have to kill those guys. So it's gonna take maybe a couple of time. So what I wanted to show you is, okay. If you, for example, if you land here, if you roll, you won't fall, but if, if you're far enough, you will be able to backstep and do the save drop. But if you are here, here it shouldn't work, for example. No, not here, a bit further. So if you are here and you try to do it, okay, it still works. But if you're already at the wrong spots, What's happening is you will die to the spike even if you grab like this. 
So you position when you land, you, you want to be basically around here. Because if, if you are too close, it won't work either, because that will happen, obviously. So you have to be careful of where you land, and that's it. So if you land here, you're good. You just roll, press action, and you're good. So that's what I want to show you. So the whole sequence will look like this. Or should look like this. Roll, save, and then you walk on the glass and pull the lever and come back to perform the opera skip. So the opera skip, so basically I stop pressing uh, walk when Lara is walking down the stair and then I got a sequence which is this one to make the jump happen. So this is the jump you, you will skip the whole of the house. So what I do is simply two running jumps, one, two, three, four, and you curve. One, two, three, four, five here. So the reason I did five and not four here is because when I reloaded, I forgot to press forward. So she kept doing one more step. So I had to delay. So it's, it's one, two, three, four, and it will work. So you want to press forward. You, you don't want her to get, to get an extra step or you will have to change the sequence. But my, my sequence is like this. One, two. One, two, three, four, five, up, and here. And you will land here and skip the whole opera house. So basically, it's, it's basically a curve jump, which is not that precise. But if you can't make it, because basically what you want to do is you want to, you, you want to aim like this, roughly. And as long as you don't jump from too far, like here, you, you will make it. Like, basically, you can jump from uh, this spot to this spot. So, I'm gonna light a flare so you can see, of course. So, this spot will work if you jump from this spot with a good angle, and this jump, this distance too. So, this is really pretty lenient. Even maybe a bit further would work. But, like, obviously, if you, if you jump from here, it's going to be tougher because there is a texture stopping you. So basically what I do is to YOLO it, I just run. And where I get to the right, when you get to the right spots, you, you want to have basically the single. So I'm going to light a flare you to show you, but you want basically jump with that angle. That angle will be a bit too much. Like if you jump, try to curve, it will be harder to land because you will jump all right. It still works here because it's pretty easy jump, but you have more chance of failing it. You just don't want to curve too much like this. You, you just don't want to have an angle really rough like this because that will happen, for example. And even if you make it, if you have a really bad angle, you the, the wall at your left will push you. Like, no, not like this, but it can happen. But basically, I want to get fat angle, and when I jump, I curve after the jump started. Right after she starts jumping, you, you curve left. Up. <coughs> so as you can see, trying to line up, jump, and then I curve left, and it's working. Because what's happening is if you curve left too soon, you might get trouble. So that can happen, for example, or you can get you can hit the wall and drop down. So you have to be careful about that. Then there is some kind of setup for it. If you really don't want to yellow it, you sidestep until you can't move here. Step back twice, turn here like this. So basically, there is a kind of opening here. So when Lar when you can see it here, you stop and you do a running jump and you start curving left when Lara starts jumping and it will work. So this is 
the best, not the best way probably, but this is the way I found to do it. If you are not confident you're lowering it, just step back twice. It's not even precise like this. This will work. Oops. This will work. This will work. There is a lot of position that will work, but just curve when she start jumping. Or maybe even slightly before to be sure, but it will still work if you delay a bit. Because this is this is really this is not precise jump, you just just curve and it will work. So this is opera skip. Uh, just one last thing. You can stumble the con the you can cancel the stumble animation at the landing. You just need to late grab and if you late grabs it will cancel the animation. So if you if you do a late grab like this, you will be able to turn a bit and have a a slower animation uh, a shorter animation, sorry. So you will have different sequences depending on where you land. Because if you if you land here you can get the sequence if you get the good angle to get to that, le to that lever. But if you land Oops, if you land here, for example, you won't be able to make the first jump. So you have to get that kind of sequence. So when you start, it's not something you want to consider because you don't want to have too much in your mind. But if you land here, you know that you will be able to make this sequence. So you, you can try to get it. And this is the fastest uh, sequence uh, for RG at least because you don't want to use flare here. And if you're not sure to get it, you, you, you're trying to get it, and if you can't get it, you just curve here and reach the lever. And if you're sure you can get it, like if you're here, you just directly prepare yourself to do that sequence. So you either do the sequence, which is the best one, or uh, that sequence you basically land here you stop pressing forward because if you don't um, if you don't stop pressing forward that's gonna happen of course so you stop pressing forward starting the second jump oops not like I just did <laughs> sorry about that <laughs> stop pressing forward and you press forward again when she's landing when she has the landing animation like she just kept and she will turn slightly and you will be able to, if you hold forward and right, you will reach the lever. So you land here and you just hold forward and right and you will be able to make it. So here it didn't work because the reason is my angle, for example, I land here. And because I, I land here, I won't be able to do what I just said. The way to get what I just said is to have an angle more here to the left and then curve and then you will be able to make it. So if you land here, you just do a jump, land and take your time, just turn manually and then press forward. So whatever happens, you pull the lever and you prepare to, do, to choose your sequence. So there is yellow sequence, which is that one. example so here I died because I hit the box and I didn't have a lot of health but that should look like this so basically if you get the right sequences before right if you get the quick sequence and you pull the lever instantly and step back like this and do the sequence I just did the box will always be in the right spot you just step back Back and forward, back twist, one, two, three, four. And you, as you can see, the, the block, uh, the box will always be at the right. So if you get the sequences right, you will get it every time, if you know how to do the jump. And then you want to land on this button and press it. But if you're not confident about doing that because you messed the, old, the previous sequence and you don't know where the box is and etc you can just do the same thing except you just all the work here to land to be on the edge here you turn take this angle 
wait for the box to go to the right, unlearn here, and go to the left, to the bottom again. So this is if you're not confident about that part. Just up. So the angle is not precise, so I'm not gonna even show you what's the angle because unless you're like this you and you won't make the jump but like the angle is pretty big so you the angle will just decide if you're able to keep running or not because obviously if your angle is too much right you will still make the jump but you won't be able to keep running like this you won't be able to keep running because you will fall and if you fall it's it's really dramatic so just be safe oops just be safe and if you see your angle is right don't keep holding forward and wait until you land and if you're confident you can just keep running and do it so here i got a stumble because i was more to the right like i was i'm gonna show you like i was here instead of here actually i was more like here so but if you are like here you can see i don't stumble so whatever you do um you will push that button so if you and for example if you try to yolo one you miss like this you will be in this spot and you will be able to make the recovery so yellowing is really worth if you have enough health and confidence about the box position and just in case you fail it if you fail it let's say i didn't push the button and i fell it if you failed it this is really dramatic but you will have to, to get that i'm gonna just show it once you just have to go there go there avoid the block the box of course and go back to the button and it will lose you, you are likely to lose ton of health because there is dog cold guy and gun guy so you have to be <laughs> really careful about those so if, if this jump is a jump you're likely to miss i recommend you to save or set it up so whatever you push the button and you get a two way of ending the level so first you can use a flare that i wrote in the sheets and use it like this so if you don't have a lot of health you need to be careful about the dog and the cult and etc because that can happen but basically you just jump here avoid the block of course the box jump two time here jump the last time flare pencil and keep going you can do it without a flare but you will need a late grab which is quite hard to get let's be honest okay, i'm gonna try to get it but yeah i didn't get it but you can get a late grab here and keep going but i don't recommend it i really don't because the dogs are really close and generally you don't have much health of this so if you're going for this try to do it with a flare console it's safer so according to the sheet, this flare console is um, is not in the official routing. It's a backup if you don't know how to do the next strat. So if you want to do this this flare console, as usual, remove one somewhere else. The other strat is this one. Oops, not this one, obviously. <laughs> so this sequence will look it's relatively hard. But I tr trust me, it's really easy. And as you can see, I didn't get any any stumble. And this is a good sequence. So this is... You need to jump once here. Then you delay. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Jump again. Jump again here to hit the low ceiling. And you can make it. So I'm going to enter into more detail a bit. So... You can do it with three step only here, but it's much harder and you're likely to get a small stumble like this, so it's better to delay. So 
one two three four one two three four you want to jump here so don't ju don't jump too much right or you will stumble against the box of course and you want to hit the low ceiling here like you want to be at the extreme right when you jump do the final jump because oh my god <laughs> because if you don't that will happen she will still eat the, the ceiling somehow but it won't be enough to get the stumbleless oops i'm gonna try to show you so here if you don't get the low ceiling like here that can happen and you still get a stumble and this is very dangerous because there is dog cold guy and etc so that's why you want to jump on the very lower ceiling as you can to be sure like this you're gonna get the stumbleless animation and then you want to delay one of your jump and you will get or you will get a stumble so i'm just gonna show you if you don't delay one jump in your jump sequence because you will get a stumble so one last time one two one two three four one two three four jump on the very right oops but here it, it, it won't be the same yeah yeah i forgot to mention that you need to delay slightly the first jump or you will get that so like this, if you don't delay one jump here that will happen oops so, okay i didn't get it here but if you don't what can happen is you can just get a stumble here so you have to roll to reach the end quicker and that was a pair house so in terms of pickups there is no pickups in this level so there is no difference between the hard on easy road except maybe the flag console in the end you might use in the easy road and in terms of meds for the hard road you need to do it medialess you, you basically need it unless you had really good battle in terms of meds and you can use a small for the easy roads you're likely to use a small for the easy roads because you're not used to the movements and etc you don't want to use more than that because this level like if you you're likely to use only a small like really so if you use more than a small i suggest you to practice a bit more until you use only a small so that's it thanks a lot for watching and as usual if there is question or anything you can ask in the description and see you next time